Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Do you guys use emojis when you send messages? Hell yeah. I don't know. I'm not a, not a big emoji guy. Actually. I've been trying to get into it. I love a good emoji. I'll yeah. send a uh, good thumbs up instead of replying. I stick to the I stick to the basics. <laughs> I'm a big old like happy face, love hard eyes, crying face sort of guy. Maybe a crying laughing, but in terms of like sending like an avocado or anything else, nah. See, I'm trying to get into like I only send them as a joke. Me like too. Like when someone says something that's like not funny, you send back a lot of laughing emojis or something. <laughs> that's good. Do I, I use it for a bit of levity, you know? Like someone knows you're not super serious if you just put like five emojis after mm. what you say and you're just like, hey, are you coming to soccer practice today? You're just like soccer emoji, goal emoji, running person emoji. That, yeah, yeah, I like you know? that. A hundred like, emoji. Yeah, a hundred <laughs> emoji, like joy emoji. Like just put them, and people know you're not like being super heavy about it. Yeah, I like it because I used to, if I'm sending a message that I think could be taken the wrong way, I just pop a lol on the end. That's oh, my, my yeah, that's I think after almost every, probably ninety percent of my messages end in ha ha or lol. Yeah, like a- I can't age old stop. Trick. I can't stop. Bad it. habit. How <laughs> else? How else do you convey that you're not being super serious over text? Well, see, someone sent a smiley face to me, and I went, well, "That kind of looked good." And then the more I looked at the message, the more I was like, "Is that passive aggressive?" Because <laughs> it can be a little bit passive aggressive. A smiley face. You know what's Ooh, passive worst. aggressive? Upside down smiley. Fuck. Oh, you, you that's piss the them extreme. Off if you get an upside yeah, yeah. down smiley. What's that one mean? It's like. You're Sorry, like, I'm new. <laughs> uh, say say you like invite someone out somewhere and then they're like, oh, I can't make it now. You're like, oh, that's okay. I'm happy here by myself. Upside down smiley. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's, that's yeah. a great Am example. Right? Wow. It literally just means passive aggressive. It's like, it's literally the equivalent of your girlfriend. It's fine. When is it's it, really ooh. not. Is it the, when you smile with no lips face? Like, <sighs> Maybe, yeah. It's close to that. It's kind of when you smile, but you're <laughs> up, upside down. <laughs> yeah, that's sort of smiley. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. The emojis are very good. I think they're really funny and you can do some creative stuff with it. You know, I, I, like it's the evolution of language. Yeah, yeah, I definitely think they're funny. I'm trying to use them not funny. No, it's kind of like the de-evolution of language. Egyptians had it set like over <laughs> 5,000 years ago. They had the original emojis. Yeah, with the yeah. hieroglyphics. Do your parent like my mum is a fiend for emojis. Are your No. Nah. I don't come, f- I've not come from an emoji family. My mum oh. does do them. Like a lot of times she mentions like a cat, she'll put a cat emoji yeah, after. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? My mum is a fiend for a, a dot, 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 the old ellipses. Oh. Except it's it's never really at the right time. <laughs> for know? me, an ellipses is like- <laughs> We need to hear more about this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. I was just, I just wanted to get something in before you explain it. And like how I would take it is like, usually you're pissed off or something. It's like, oh- um, I guess I'll see you tomorrow, dot, dot, dot. It's like, oh man, I've made a big mistake. It's kind of like an upside down smiley no, face. No, that seems scary to me. I'll see you tomorrow. I was like, <laughs> we weren't planning anything. Yeah, or like, <laughs> it's just like, if it was the exact same situation as Zach and it's just like, oh, that's okay. I'll just chill here, dot, dot, dot. And yeah, it's just like, okay. oh, I've, I've messed up completely. I need to hear more. Now, yeah. I think like, it, it kind of implies you trail off, right? Like that's what a dot, dot, dot. And it's like, mm-hmm. guess I'll just stay here. Yeah. And then you kind of just like, Waiting, trail off. Yeah. yeah, and it, but my mum, I, I think she watches the podcast. Hi, mum. Uh, not putting on blast here, <laughs> but it's it's just in between regular sentences sometimes, and it just has a bit of a foreboding tone to it. When yeah, I know yeah. that's not what she means, because mum was very lovely. She'd, she'd be like, "All right, are you coming over today?" Dot dot dot. <laughs> hope, we'll you, hope you enjoy seeing the cats. <laughs> dot dot dot. dot, dot. dot. <laughs> I was like, What's so worrying? That about sounds this? very terrifying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it sounds like she got a tiger. She's waiting for it to attack you. <laughs> you seen the cats? <laughs> Hope you're looking forward to dinner. Dot, dot, dot. It's like poison. Yeah, yeah. Exa- that's exactly the vibe Everything I get. Just sounds a little bit more menacing to every sentence. Yes, mm-hmm. 100%. Yeah. But, you know, I don't think it means like that. It's just how she, how she types. But she, she does like a good emoji and I appreciate it. I think I've m- maybe spoken about this with you guys, but when I was single and you'd message girls and you would just go, oh, we can't text because we text completely different. I don't think you have talked yeah. about this on the okay. podcast. No, I haven't. no, I haven't heard this. Okay, so sometimes, because uh, I like to do a lot of bits when I'm talking to people. And as soon as they're like, what? I'm like, well, this is not going to work. You got to weed out yeah. the ones with no sense of humor because yeah. that shit ain't going to fly well, with might, you. See, I have a very weird sense of humor when it comes to texting. I like to just, I don't know. It's not. It's probably not very fun to be on the other end of, but you need to be able to play along or move along. Oh, people that don't Ooh. play along just like in one message, they're just like, no. Or there's just, it's like, 
kind of like an improv someone that doesn't do the yes and they just yes, stop you exactly and then what you're I'm like for. oh well this is fucking terrible <laughs> and it's just awkward because they would be going what is this person talking about and, and you look like the weird one yeah that's the worst thing well i usually do well, so he probably fine. is the weird one <laughs> <laughs> picturing jackson talking to this like brick wall tinder girl who's like covid and nothing and he's like hey what are you up to and she's like errands and he's like well i work at the bean factory <laughs> I work at the Bean Factory. Jackson unmatched you. <laughs> oh. What's your worst like opener that's gotten rejected on Tinder? Do you remember any in particular? I'm not really an opener guy. I don't. I, oh, <laughs> you like them to him. him. Oh. Yeah, I like. I, He's a closer. I like uh, the deal. <laughs> I liked Bumble where they message first, but then oh, it would kind of just be great for be, the guy. <laughs> yeah, but then it would just be hey, it's a Bumble. Like yeah, it's such such good potential for those that don't know bumble is a dating app like tinder but it makes the girl message first they have to they have to yeah which is great in theory because you're like oh guys don't need to think of this opener great for the guy probably not great for the girl but then the girl just sends hey and then they know that the guy is going to put in work anyway that's so funny so it's just (laughs) like hey and then they fulfilled their requirement then you're thinking of like oh shit how do i make a pun out of their name fucking (laughs) that's what i'm thinking of (laughs) never never worked Yeah, it's like they instantly put the ball in your court and you're like, oh, well, this is just Tinder all over. No, but then now you can say, hey, back. No, then they won't reply because you're being boring. If you say, hey, back, then that's a a done deal. You're over. What? I don't know. Did you never use the dating apps too much? Yeah, but- That's how we met Holly. Yeah. No, they met at the shopping (laughs) centre. Do you guys know that Jordan lied about how he and Holly We've explained this on the podcast before. It was in a video. It was an underdog gaming video. Oh, really? We haven't? For at least three years, I thought Jordan and Holly met because they were both looking for snakes in the confectionery aisle. Such a bullshit story (laughs) that I can't believe you would think I would do. Why would you lie about that? Holly was a bit embarrassed with the old uh, Tinder I mean, situation. Was technically looking for a snake. <laughs> just a different type. <laughs> this one was not sweet. Oh, uh, just like a lolly snake, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Get that pineapple in, bro. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> tie a knot with your tongue. Uh, ignoring that. So what was your opening message? Oh, I have I cannot remember. It was- Do you it's, sure, it's, have you It's been Tinder? like four years. Yes, I have. We've been going out for almost four years now. Oh. I can't remember what I first sent. Do you reckon she would know? No. Go home no and ask, because I think it's, no it's a mission shot. for the podcast. We have to know. How how it went. Yeah. If we both reinstall- No, it would, would it no, have the you, old messages? If you re-download it, I think it might. I think it's compulsory oh. that you find out how it started. Okay. See, I got ripped into a little bit by Maddie because I think I left Tinder installed on my phone for a bit too long because I just didn't think about it. It's not um, like I was using it. I did the same it. thing. Yeah. But also, still had like another 20 days on my Tinder gold <laughs> <laughs> that Jackson bought me for Christmas. <laughs> Have to exercise that right. <laughs> yeah. So didn't want to delete it, you know, just in case she broke it off. Yep. Got to keep that gold, keep those super likes. <laughs> I remember play. on one of my um first dates with Sophie- she got uh, a message on her, on like a push notification on her phone from Tinder while we're oh. sitting in the car and she went to go and like change the song or something. And then this like, you know, bar, I wasn't trying to peep. It just popped up. And honestly, it's a good play because it keeps you on your toes. You're like, fuck, I gotta try real hard now. <laughs> it's like, it's a match, Ricardo. It's like some guy with these abs tan body. You're like, shit, my competition. Yeah, like obviously she, she said she was super embarrassed. She was like, I wasn't like talking to anyone or anything because she wasn't like, you know, playing the field or anything. It was actually just like a coincidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was super embarrassed and I was like, oh shit, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> up my game, brother. Peter gets a single on, he's like, I'm not fucking losing this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> after the day, just straight to the gym, <laughs> stays there till the next day. It's <laughs> like getting huge. Exactly. But what Jackson was saying before, what kind of got us into this, I know what you mean. I know for some people, not using emojis is a big red flag because like, mm. if you're talking to someone who only talks to other people with loads of emojis, you come across as like, a robot or disinterested. Yeah, you're just yeah. like, hi, yeah. how are you today? You have to be like, how are you today? Like smiling emoji, love heart eyes emoji, like you know all that shit. That's where my ha ha or lol comes in. Like, uh, hey comes lol, in clutch. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, good, it's, it's that, the same thing. That's what I do to sound interested. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I definitely come across as disinterested a lot at the beginning, just because I'm so freaking chill. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I just I seem like I don't care a lot. What, that's bad. What would be like a bit? You were saying you do bits. I was trying What's to think of bit? one. I should have thought of one before. Maybe we'll circle back. To okay, it. okay. But I can't. I don't think I'll be able to think of one. But it just uh, if someone does something and I think it's funny, then I want to keep the joke going. But often people they're done. 
Ah, uh, it, it actually just shocks me how some people just don't really have a sense of humor. Like mm. that, I know everyone does, and it doesn't necessarily match mine. But like, we all like to make the odd joke, right? Yeah. Some people <laughs> their sense Every of humor. Now and then, <laughs> yeah, we we do a bit Dabble. of a joking. <laughs> Some people prefer to just like, you know, hear jokes and they, they have a sense of humor because mm. they still find things funny. But I don't know. I don't know. You you definitely get this. I definitely get this. A joke comes to you. You're like, you need to say it. You it's can't joke hold it Tourette's, in. I believe. <laughs> yeah. is what it's I've been trying pronounced. to adopt joke Tourette's. You can't help it. Like you have a pun that comes to mind. You know, it's dog shit. You know, your partner's not going to appreciate it. And you're just like, and then it slips out. You can't help it. One thing I've unfortunately picked up from Peter is every time Maddie says, can you call my phone? I go, Maddie's phone. Oh, I, I'll do Peter, a bit of that. Peter always used to do it. When he moved out, kind of was missing that. So I took up the mantle of making the terrible dad joke every time someone like, has a worry about they've lost their phone and you're just the dickhead going, Maddie's phone. <laughs> <laughs> the other dad joke that I picked up from you is uh, I'm hungry. And now I say, hey, hungry, I'm Zach. Oh, I'm so used to that used to I'm be Zach. a classic. Zach would do that all the time. I've kind of fallen off that one. A bit. No, for but don't sure. worry, I've been keeping it up <laughs> for you. You know, the worst thing, I used to do it to everything. If someone's like, oh, I'm late for work. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, I'm late for work, I'm Zach. <laughs> it just really does start to get old. Every time someone uses the I'm word. Yeah. Which is quite a common word in everyday language. You really can't <laughs> hijack that for a terrible pun as many times as you'd think. See, so you, you were teaching people to express their feelings in a better way. Because if they said, Zach, I feel tired. Yeah, like, because you aren't. Oh. You like, it's a better way of expressing yourself. Because, like, you're turning your entire personality into one tray. You're like, I'm hungry. And it's like, you're also lots of other things. Are you hungry? Whoa. You know what I mean? You're Whoa. a deeper person than just your, your <laughs> Thanks, ravenous need for food. <laughs> so really by making these dad jokes, me and Zach had changed them up for better, helping people express their emotions in a better way. Exercise the English language. Yeah, <laughs> every time someone said they need to be, hey guys, I'm Zach. I'm a man. I'm a strong, independent person with like, happy. Also, I'm feeling quite peckish at the moment. It's like, come on. I was picturing like Maddie at some point. It's like, Zach, I'm sick of these dad jokes. It's pissing me off and I'm going to break up with you. And it's like, hi, sick of these dad jokes. <laughs> I'm Zach. Oh, Not man. taking it seriously at all. Takes it to the grave with him. No, nah, she loves the dad jokes and the dad bod. Anything that has dad in it. Mm. Mm, bit of a sign. <laughs> <laughs> bit, little bit of a sign. <laughs> okay. Well, double check those condoms, brother. <laughs> okay. Should we move on? Yeah, then? sure. <laughs> you have a segment planned. Oh, yeah. Should we, should we get straight into it? Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's not do it. Not only a segment. I've got an intro for the segment. Oh, yes. yeah, boy. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Which now, button is it? Button roulette. <laughs> Who are the Sharpedos? They're self-made YouTubers and Pokemon entrepreneurs. Today, they will make or break the dreams of themselves. Peter has won at least one Pokemon tournament and plays Pokemon Go every day. Zach has made several YouTube videos centered around Pokemon. Don't look at their view count. Jackson claims that if he was a Pokemon, he would be a fairy type. Jordan has only played Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and is really not qualified to be here. <laughs> this <laughs> is Sharpedo Tank. <laughs> and Pokemon so good. And Pokemon Pinball, I'll have you know. Okay, okay. <laughs> so that was a parody of the Shark Tank intro, which we can, all know. Can we have an ongoing segment where you just rank it? That gets an A tier from me. Thank you. That was oh, huge. Yes. That was a? amazing. Yes. And the oh. original intro is a solid C. Oh, not great. Okay. Yeah. But that's you're getting better. Yeah. Should we explain oh. the segment? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like we should. <laughs> no, that <laughs> covered it. <laughs> So what I asked the guys to do for Sharpedo Tank, parody of Shark Tank, I asked everyone to come up with a Pokemon and we get to decide if that Pokemon makes it into the next game or not. We're basically designing it, what type it is, maybe some Pokedex entries and that. Does Perfect. anyone in particular want to go first? Should I would love to go first. Oh, okay, okay. Let's get it, Jackson. Okay. You guys can fight over it if you want. No, <laughs> Jackson can go ahead. I just thought I should probably go first because the intro is no lie. I have the least knowledge. I think you have the most creativity. No. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we should hear it first. <laughs> Mine's called Ant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go, Jackson. Um, I want to hear this. Right, so mine is named Cheel. Now it's chill and eel combined. So oh, it's a chill eel. Oh, nice. And it evolves into chill axe, is in chill axe. Oh, I oh. love that. And it's a yoga eel. That's its uh, description. And so the Pokedex entry is chill uses its body to maneuver into difficult yoga positions that most yoga experts cannot. 
it's said that Cheel also owns vintage cars and discusses politics in an open-minded fashion. What a guy. <laughs> That's pretty chill. Yeah, he's pretty chill. What, do, do we what have type of for? Pokemon is So this? he's water and psychic. Oh, oh very chill. Awesome. Very chill. Very chill. <laughs> so we have an entry for the evolution. Or what changes when he evolves? He just gets two of them. I got lazy. I didn't know what to do with that. <laughs> ah, the old Magna. Yeah, um, Magneton Magna. Yeah. Magnemite. Mag- Magnemite, Magneton, Diglett, Doug Trio. You know. Yeah, it's the mm. same with Chill and Chillax. Dojo, Do Trio. I mean, there's still one of them, just more heads. But yeah, same same idea. Pokemon. Pokemon, Jordan knows. I'm joining in. <laughs> Do we rate them? Maybe we should wait that till the good. end. I don't yeah, because know. you don't want to go know like bad they eight are. and then, oh. I feel like I, we have like chill. judges, right? So we can ask questions about this, oh, right? Yeah. I feel mm. like that's fine. We have, and oh. while it's still fresh in our mind, we should probably do it now. Before yeah, why we not? Everyone right? has to ask one question. Oh, okay. Well, uh, what type of yoga poses does an eel do? Well, that's the thing. They can get into a lot. Were you listening? A lot of <laughs> difficult <laughs> positions. So yeah. they can do a lot of them because of their flexibility. Yeah, but they don't have arms or legs. And it's in water. Makes it no easier. gravity makes yoga easier. I assume. Some people question whether Chiel can really do yoga Is that well. Is it even yoga at you know? the end of the day? It's definitely raised a lot of questions with yoga experts. <laughs> Very interesting. Just um, a little zoology fact on that one, by the way. The, the, <laughs> you're, you're actually onto something here with these like positions because there's this like type of kind of eel type thing called a hagfish. Brilliant. And it, it, so much slime comes out of it to get itself out of the slime. It ties itself in a knot. Whoa. And drags itself along itself to like slide the slime oh, off like itself. The goes down That's yeah. so cool. So like you're onto something here. That's what I was basing it off. The hag <laughs> trish fish. <laughs> what was it called? The hag. How did you get the fish part wrong of hag fish? I think it's hag trish. <laughs> hag trish. <laughs> what a terrible name. That's Is it ugly? Ex- hag trish. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to know if this chill or chillax have any signature moves or abilities. I was thinking in the shower and I think it should be water aerobics, but it doesn't really really match. No, it boosted stats, right? Brilliant. That's exactly yeah, okay. what I was thinking. Boosts its like speed and accuracy. Yeah. And all oh, it's a shit. mixed attacker, by the way. Thanks for asking. Maybe it changes what it boosts depending on the terrain. Oh, Different poses. Dude, Chiel looking pretty good. <laughs> Chiel looking <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty so competitively bad. viable. All right, Peter. Uh, is, it, is it like strong on offense or strong it's, on defense and why? It's a very weak defensive Pokemon and a very strong mixed attacker. So ah, a bit of a glass fast. cannon type and fast, but a very glass cannon because it's an eel after Ooh. all. Does it learn any ice moves? Cause it's chill. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> no, you had, <laughs> you had it. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah, okay. I fun, thought of that Fun before. fact, when eels are young, they're called glass eel sometimes and they're see-through glass cannon. Oh. Man, water Thanks type for you guys you- making my Pokemon a lot better. <laughs> water type using Ice Beam. Haven't seen that before. Woo-hoo. I might I might invest in this one. Don't this eels only work because they're not chill though? Okay, your turn. <laughs> no, maybe maybe we should. We should decide if we're in or we're out. Like the sharks. We're the Sharpedos. Yeah, the Sharpedos. Okay, the Sharpedos. I'll give you $500 to me. <laughs> I think I'm in on this one. And I was in from the start just... The naming convention. Great name. The naming convention Great names. sells it. And the typing. Love it. Okay. Please, wait, can wait. I? Are I you don't in or out? Are oh, you in or out? Yeah, I'm Jordan? in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm out. Sorry, mate. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry. Was it's it because just... you mispronounced hagfish? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to say an eel doing yoga doesn't really fit my envisioning of an art style. You know, I, I, I can't picture it. I'm sorry. Can't believe this. Do they usually rage on Shark Tank? <laughs> yeah, they trashed the studio. <laughs> well, I trashed the studio. You guys don't see my vision. <laughs> All right, Jordan, let's Okay, really I just want to get this out of the way. This is so bad. I wonder if you guys can guess what it is. So it's a steel electric type. Uh, the first one's called uh, Don't Do. No, it's not. <laughs> Next one's called Do-Do. <laughs> don't Do. Don't yeah, yeah. Do. Don't Do. some kind of smash joke? No, steel no. Ele- steel electric. No. Music. It's an appliance or something. Yeah, so it's kind of, it looks a bit like a power socket with a fork. <laughs> this is good. I mean, so it it carries a wall around with it. Uh, I just, just haven't thought through entirely, but you know, it's like the power socket head. Like, yep. that's kind of a good face looking yep. thing, right? Yeah, it is. And then it's got like a fork for arms, steel forks, and uh, it's a bit of a message for the kids as well. Don't do so. Obviously, it can scratch with the forks, but it's a bit of a Voltorb action if it wants to uh, stick the fork in its head. 
blows up kind of oh, thing. Yep. That's where the electricity comes in. It evolves into a toaster with a fork. <laughs> And <laughs> then yeah, great for kids. It's not saying like don't do this. I mean, I guess it is. It's called don't do, do dude. Yeah, but the kid's gonna be like, I'm gonna make my favorite Pokemon in real life. No, 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 no. And evolves into don't do it. So oh, <laughs> don't do it. At least it's creative. <laughs> so uh, that's kind of as far as I got. I thought maybe end goal it could have a third evolution where it's like a power line what kind of thing. Like really big. A hair dryer in a bath, and it's called Never Do. This. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good one. Can I suggest? Never do. Can I suggest a name change for the evolution? To yes. Something like yes. your toast. Oh. It's like don't do, and then you do it, and it's like your toast. Nice. That's a good what one about actually. Fork me. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> I thought don't because don't, you guys just saying don't do you couldn't you didn't figure it out. So it's a bit of a what do you mean we didn't figure it out? That could be anything. <laughs> There's a lot of things you should do. Shouldn't shit on the floor at a shopping oh. centre, but they don't have a Pokemon for that. I thought <laughs> you should make one. Is that your idea? <laughs> well, I said steal electric, you know, but uh, don't do it. Yeah, you could have like I don't know, say don't get in the fridge and still <laughs> steal electric, and you might die. So yeah, that's my Pokemon. What's their entry? Did you write an entry? I did not write an entry. I didn't. I didn't realize we were doing entries. Can there be a- um, ability could be static. If you touch it, you become paralyzed. That's good. True. Yeah, I was thinking it had a bit of a paralyzed <laughs> ability. I actually was thinking that. I don't know what the Pokedex entry would be. It would be like many kids before have tried. They're all ghost types. I would love it to some, be ghost. Electric know. ghost. Mm. I don't know. No, the final evolution has a ghost. <laughs> That's it. That's what it. about like, don't do's hide in homes trying to disguise themselves as power outlets. Mm. They feed on the electricity of kids of when they stupid touch children who fall for their traps. Yeah, don't some fall of the, for some it. Some of the entries are pretty grim, so you could definitely go down that line. Yeah. It's like in Pokemon where you like talk to a Pokeball and it turns out to be a Voltorb. Mm-hmm. It's like that, but when you press A on it, you just white out and go back to the Poke Center. <laughs> <laughs> it was called Don't Do It. What was I thinking? The one's hiding in the home at the start of the game where you know you go, you check the clock, you check the switch. If you click on the PowerPoint, they just... <laughs> oh, no, it's a Don't Do. <laughs> the game bricks itself. <laughs> yeah. God, this is bad. So, okay. uh, yeah, that's my Pokemon. Are you in, guys? I have to say ask I'm a out. question first. Oh, oh, please don't ask We kind questions. of did ask our questions. Yeah, yeah. I'm out. If there was the third... <laughs> If there was the third evolution with the hairdryer in the bath, you could maybe sell me. I think the names are, <laughs> the names are so bad. Don't Very do it. little thought. Maybe like get rid of the T and it's a bit more What about subtle. if you made it like suck it? What, Don Do? Yeah, Don Do. <laughs> that sounds almost like Do. do Isn't it. that like someone's album? Donda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of rest is fine. <laughs> you could make it like Don't Let. It's like, oh, don't let your and kids kind touch of, it, but and it's like, like an outlet. outlet. Yeah. Don't, don't wow, let. Wow, like, a better idea in two seconds. <laughs> what about suck it? Like, if you touch it, no, suck no, it. No, 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 no. Lesson I, for the kids. Suck, suck it. Nah, I don't think suck it. Suck it's not good for the kids. Yeah. Even zappy would have been better. That would have been great. <laughs> zappy. No, I think I thought don't do was kind of subtle because it's one word. It's the least subtle what, thing what I've ever subtle? heard. do do? Yeah, because it's one word, so it doesn't look like two words. Okay, you need to stop. Uh, yeah, I'm, du- I'm done with who, this. I'm who's out in? Who's I'm in? in? I don't need more questions. I'm out. No one's in? Out. You're in? out. Oh, I almost want to be in, but I'm not. I'm <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay. Don't do it just to I'm, be different. I want to do it to be different, but I can't. All right, can moving go, on. Can I go next? Because I feel like mine's a complete 180 from Jordan's Let's quite clearly very silly writing. idea. It's actually like a whole I've got essay. a very serious oh, idea that I think is legitimately good. <laughs> no. So it starts off with rocker. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is a rock quacker. Oh, bit of an good. Australian one. Quokka is kind of like mini kangaroos, but a different species. Uh, it's a rock type. And then the entry is, when startled, rockers will curl up into a bowl to disguise themselves as a rock. Creative. <laughs> and then good. works. Uh, they all have an ability, which I'll go over at the end. It evolves into boulder bee. Yep. It's a wallaby, boulder bee. Oh, there needs to be and more then, Australian Pokemon. Uh, boulder bee can use their large tail to hurl rocks over 10 times their size. Brilliant. I figured, like, it's always great to have a Pokemon hyper- hyperbole in the entry. You know how it's like, Mag Cargo's are ten times hotter than the sun. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah it's just that's like, good. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, ten times its weight. Like, doesn't fucking matter. It's a Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, who's fact-checking it? <laughs> <laughs> that's also a rock type. And it evolves into Kangaboo, which is a rock ghost type. Oh, Kangaboo. Which has never been used as a type combination before. Cool. Ooh. Kangaboo hide in the bushes along paths and roads, jumping out to startle passing travelers. Many car accidents have been caused <laughs> no, this no, no. way. Ten times more car accidents. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> 
Why stop at 10? That's a rock ghost type. No real reason it becomes a ghost. Just thought the new Boo. type would be cool. And, and it, yeah, and the kangaboo. It kangaboo. collects the souls of the people from the car crashes. <laughs> God. In its pouch. Yeah, there we go. Pouch. Nice. <laughs> there we go. Uh, that's and they all great. have the ability thick tail, which makes uh, 1.5 times damage to tail moves. Ooh. Like oh. like poison tail, aqua tail, dragon there's, tail. There's not that many Australian Pokemon, is there? There's no. like Kangaskhan. There's, I don't think there's any kangaroos except for Kangaskhan. And Kangaskhan and Loki shit. Not a, not a kangaroo. <laughs> but there's no like platypus Pokemon, is there? No, no. wallaby, no quokka. Yeah, so that's why I chose it. Uh, oh, and it's also got a signature move, Stone Tail. If you wanted to know, tell me more. It's just a rock type tail move. Does it do anything? No, nah, it's just oh gets, damage. Gets powered up. There you go. Guys, if, great. if you're at home right now or have a phone, you probably do if you're listening, but uh, Google Quokka because no one knows what a Quokka is, but it's so oh, funny. They're, smi- they they're so smiley. Yeah, they're a bit more popular these days. They're actually but they're viral. not that popular. They're not like people like I remember because I asked my Twitch chat the other day. I was going through all the Australian animals. They knew all of them. They didn't know Quokka. Mm. And it's just like Quokkas are just these little little kind of mini mini kangaroos like kind of crossed with a mouth that always are smiling it's yeah. like if you crossed enough, a kangaroo with a fat rat yeah exactly that when people first uh went over to this island that's just off the coast of perth that's like a holiday destination here it's called rot nest because people thought quokkas were rats yeah and that was like rat's, rat's nest. nest yeah i think it's dutch or something as far as i know yeah that's more creative than don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, any question? I thought of Rocker and then I was like, that's such a good name. Just got to build something off that. So are they pure rock types? The first the two? The first two are rock and then it goes rock ghost. Rock okay, ghost like that. is very that's interesting. Kangaboo. I don't like when it's something like two types and then it changes the type when it evolves. Oh, yeah, I'm not yeah. about that. I like adding on at the end. I'm in. I have no questions. Yeah. Ooh, I am you. also in. I like it. Yeah, this one's pretty good. I'm also in. Actually hey, a good entry. I got yeah. Peter's support. That's well what we wanted. That's the hardest one. Oh, shit, I didn't give support to anyone else. I didn't even realize. <laughs> well, vibes I, are good. I probably put in the most effort. I, I purposely tried to make it like an actual Pokemon. Pokedex entry as well. Yeah. yeah, that's good. For all three, that was pretty impressive. I think that's what... Oh, mine Thank was missing you. a bit of polish. Mm. And yours is missing a, a bit lot. of yeah. <laughs> creativity. <laughs> I guess all it's right, my turn I'm then. I'm for Peter's. All right, so when you think about a Pokemon, right, there's like a thousand of them now. So a lot of your bases have already been covered, right? Like there's already been pretty much everything done. So I yeah, tried to think hard. of what animals have not really been done before. And I think it's time we have a dolphin Pokemon. Yes. Has that not been done? I don't think so. What a I missed opportunity. Yeah. So I thought kind a dolphin Pokemon would be awesome. But Is that because I eat them? Oh, sorry. Oh, it might be. It <laughs> might be. a No, no, honestly, it might be a reason there's no dolphin Pokemon. Anyway. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, but they, they have fish Pokemon. And nah, whale. bad take. They have a whale bad take. Lord. Bad take. Yeah. Move on. Re- retracted. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but no. I thought, how can you make a dolphin interesting? Right? We we're gonna get one of the strongest type combinations in the game. Flying water, very good. Few weaknesses, a lot of resistances. You're gonna lose to don't do it. I'm not. He's this, electric type. This is going somewhere. <laughs> You're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, like, four times weak to don't do and it. And dolphins are so smart. They're probably interested in power sockets. Yeah. They're like, how do we use this? Oh, no. Allow me to introduce you to Gulfin. A cross between a seagull and a dolphin. Oh, hell I yeah. I love it. I mean, okay, so we got the water flying type. <laughs> it has a signature move that it starts. So it starts as a water flying type. It has a signature move where it either leaves the water or enters the water. So it either activates gull mode, becomes a pure flying type, goes underwater, becomes a pure water type, okay? So you can cancel some of your weaknesses, predicting their move with your high speed stat, and, you know, cancel your weakness, predicting their move coming in. So the great way to dodge moves with oh, Gulfin. Oh, wait, has that been a thing in Pokemon? Because I don't know Pokemon that well. Is we there like a Pokemon types. that can switch types yes. as like a read? Ooh. Yes. Uh, I mean, mostly they've been on offensive Pokemon, so it doesn't really matter if you resist their move a lot of the time. It's usually used for offensive purposes. That's cool. But this would have like a bit more rounded stats, so you could use it for defensive purposes. Very Not cool. as, as much. When uh, Gulfin evolves, it evolves into, wait for it, Squawker. A squawking orca. Oh, okay. I forgot about orca. That's awesome. That as as we know, orcas are in the dolphin family. Yes. How, do you, how do you spell that? Uh, S-Q-U-O-R-C-A. Squawker. Like squawker. squawker, nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it is like the color scheme. It, imagine a magpie crossed oh. with, you know, like a, a so seagull crossed with an orca. Yeah. Pretty beautiful. This one, like Jordan asked us a couple of weeks ago, why don't we have beaks? 
I did ask that. I still don't really know. What I thought is we would lose our teeth. What Squawker does is it has both. Quite terrifying to have a huge toothy beak like staring you down when you're against a Squawker. It's very scary looking Pokemon. Reminiscent of maybe like, you know, like a Leo Pluridon if from Walking with Dinosaurs if, if my OGs get that one. Well, dolphins do have kind of a smooth beak teeth. with teeth, right? Yeah, they have a beak and teeth. It's yeah. not really like, a, it's like a snout, but it, it is like a beak. This is such a good zoology perspective because they're kind of, that you can cross them over very easily. Yeah. Because they have similar sh- face shapes. Yeah, they're so different, yet it just seems to work. So th- th- there's the squawker for you. Terrifying, water flying type, but it might mix you up. Uh, rounded stats, generally rounded stats, ca- can do anything depending on how you choose to use it. Not really, obviously, excelling at anything either. Any questions? That sounds I'm so in. fun to use on Pokemon. How, do, how does this signature move work? So it's does like it have a, an ability? So it's a water it? move. Yeah. Uh, like let's let's say eighty or oh, let's say seventy base power, so it's okay. not too powerful, but strong enough to use. W- water move. When you use it, uh, it you can uh, the first time you use it, you like dive, yeah. and then if you're in dived mode, it it turns you into the flying mode. Okay, cool. I like it. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. No questions. Yeah, no, no questions. I, I'm so in good. As well. Dope. Well done. See that just that just seemed to make sense. Oh, it's like if the names line up. <laughs> Zach loves a pun. Love, love yeah. a pun. Yeah. Name. As soon Squawker. as you said your names as well, I was like, oh, Kangaboo. That's yeah. good. <laughs> don't, don't do it. Don't do that. <laughs> I see why you weren't hooked in from the start. It's a bit off-putting now. Don't, don't do. That's probably a big part of Pokemon is change... Do you, how, do, you, do you know their process? Do they come up with a name first? Do they come up with a design? So how do they guy, do that? His job title is pun expert. And he just, <laughs> and he just spams. Together. I reckon that could be because it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Tree co. No, you know it's like a lizard. The problem well, is, is it's that it's gecko. in different, different gecko. languages. <laughs> Langu- think languages, Jordan. They make it in oh Japanese my first. Oh, God. Tree co because it's the lizard. The problem is they, <laughs> they, need, they need to think of puns for like each language. That's the kind of crazy thing. Yeah. They think of it for like, oh, like imagine, wait. imagine a yeah, name works tough. in Japanese and then they give it to the English people. They're like, oh shit, how do we like- Does that just happen? Is that why some names are I'm puns? I'm not really sure. I think it, it might just be the English names that are kind of puns. Japanese ones might- No, just, they definitely do that still in Japanese. Really? Surely that's Japanese, a job. It's a little more literal. Right. It's a bit more like fire lizard. Well, yeah, like lizardon, of, right? Yeah, yeah, fire lizard. And literally. then said Charmander. I like it. Salamander and Char. You should oh, do yeah. that job, Zach. If you wash up on YouTube, I reckon you should I, apply I, I to really, Pokemon. I really enjoy that. By the way, guys, if anyone in the comments or listening right now would like to draw any of these Pokemon and tag us on Twitter, not oh, saying you have to, but that would be extremely epic, and we'd give you a massive shout out. That would be epic. Big You'll retweet for me. A huge retweet. Oh, and a lemon. And a lemon for sure. Yes. Uh, yeah, with the, the Pokemon translation thing, it's definitely a thing that happens with moves a lot mm-hmm. because the animation and the moves, have you noticed they don't always exactly line yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. And like, the, like, you know, like double slap happens, right? Then it hits five times. You're like, bro, that's more than double. That ain't double. <laughs> like, well, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. It's because like the original Japanese name was like, you know, multiple hits, but it, it's like a phrase there or some yeah. shit. So I don't know the exact. Wrong. Yeah. So the translations mean that things don't always line up perfectly. Uh, so yeah, that, that, that's something for you. That's interesting. That's Pokemon trivia. Well, well, that was Sharpedo Tank, guys. Let us know if you liked the segment. And if you really did like it, we might open it up to do viewer submissions in the future. We could do a so Smash we... character one maybe sometime Ooh. if we wanted. I don't know. That's an idea. Love the sound of this. Ooh. I do feel like more people care about Pokemon in general, though. Yeah. Like, uh, just your average everyday person. Oh, does, yeah, for sure. like a bit of Pokemon. Uh, should we move on? Let's yeah. move. Let's do it. I was thinking we should talk real quick. I don't know we'll be on video games a bit, but Switch Sports has been running Ooh. my life for the past week. Oh, you've yeah. been fiending it? Dude. I haven't actually so bought it yet. Here's the thing. We left last week yeah, and yeah. I said, I'm going to buy it. And Peter said, oh, I'm probably not going to get it. And now Peter's become a genius at it and I haven't you bought it. You haven't bought it no. yet? Well, we were just talking because we're going to film another Underdogs video on like Switch Sports and Zach and Peter are like Experts. gas bagging about how they're nuts at the game now. <laughs> and Jackson and I just had like, we both just stared at each other like, oh shit, dude. We have not played at all since. So We'll, mi- we'll mix up the teams that way. It's yeah, fine. I it's guess fine. so. But yeah. do you guys like the game? Oh, I have actually been. And at first I was like online, like who cares? You meant to play this with your friends. It's actually kind of legit. Like wow, honestly, cool. the way they've made the online, the lag compensation seems to be pretty good most of the time. It doesn't feel bad. Sure. Because a lot of the time with a game with like, you know, you have to reaction time 
timing your hit seat in the right direction. You'd think that wouldn't work, but it actually seems to work quite well. Especially with mo- motion controls mm. in lag mm-hmm. seems like a, just a recipe for disaster. It's actually fine. That's cool. No, you guys I, have I any found problems? it's good. I... No, no problems really. I think Switch sp- Sports personally suits the way I make content very well, and like just my personality in general. Mm-hmm. Because it's like I rage harder at games that are more simple. If that makes I've sense, like I put a lot of played time past the pigs with you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I put a lot of time into like Smash, so it's sort of like when you lose, it feels like it's your fault. But when I'm playing like Chambara and it's like, I don't know how the fucking motion controls work. And I got this Joy-Con probably raged harder than I have ever in my life playing Chambara <laughs> online. Is it recorded? Uh, it is recorded. Oh. Going up in a video soon. Oh. Next, Can't wait. next few days Sweet. probably. But then there's that. I'm also like really sick at bowling. So it's like, and then like, obviously I have a bigger bit of an ego in my videos as well. That's a bit of my personality. So then like, Brilliant. it's like talking myself up and then having it's bullshit perfect. happen in like, yeah. especially getting bad teammates, oh man, God. playing soccer and volleyball. Your teammates are so, it's so funny how much it matters. I would have thought you just control everyone, but you're with no, random people. It's 4v4 in oh, soccer. So funny. Soccer I think is the best online game. Really? I think that'll give me the most like fun playing it long term. It's just like its own thing. I used to love Lucio Ball in Overwatch. It's kind of like that, but with a bit more depth. And the motion controls are just hilarious. It's, it's quite a lot like Rocket League, but more simple. Yeah. That's cool. Wow, great. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I've been playing it a bit on streams as well. And it is like, I think the fact that you're moving your body gets you more fired up for it. Yeah, that like, must oh, be a It's definitely, sure. you know how like VR is more immersive. Yeah. Even yeah. though swinging the, the nunchuck ain't exactly, I'm not nunchuck, swinging the Joy-Cons around isn't exactly immersive. It does kind of get you invested. You no, know? I get involved. At the very I... least, it gets you a bit more invested than mm-hmm. sitting there and tapping a button for your timing. Yeah, yeah you're that's really good. For it. And so I, I see what you mean, Zach. When, when you streamed, were you just so sick of standing up by the end of it? I streamed for five and a half hours. <laughs> I had a very sore back by the end. It was, yeah, it was really hard. That's the hardest thing. That's probably the thing that would stop me from streaming Switch Sports quite often. For seven hours. <laughs> it's true. No, you I, could do it for like maybe like three hours of your stream and then sit down for a different game and that would probably be Well, you could do bowling, couldn't you? Just sitting down anyway. That kind of looks lame, oh, doesn't it? Yeah, don't sit down. Oh, sorry, fellas. <laughs> I was just, just going to solutions to your back problems. <laughs> Speaking of bowling, I bowled a 260 online. That is- Oh, you say person. No. <laughs> Imagine. 260, God, I that's barely great. crack 100 in person. No, I literally labbed bowling for oh, doing- we're for in anyone trouble that hasn't in the seen, video. <laughs> for anyone that hasn't seen it, I played Switch Sports at a bowling alley with Peter. And we versed a real bowler that was like a professional real bowler. We versed him and I wanted to make sure that I could cream him in Switch Sports. So I was up the night before literally labbing how to get the perfect spin throw. Ooh. in switch sports yep. bowling and then once i did that now that i play online i just like have it sorted out i like line it up in the same spot and because i have been so used to spinning it on the wii mm-hmm. i just get this spin shot that gets a strike like 95 percent of the time it's a bit cracked wow you have to teach me the strategy <laughs> no <laughs> i'm the spin prince i saw it in the comments <laughs> don't worry jordan i got five strikes in a row with pure sniper straight oh, as an arrow shot, okay so okay i like still it got a chance I was doing like these spin shots every time. Someone said like 20 bucks if you do a straight strike and then I got it. <laughs> oh <laughs> nice. man, hell yeah. But Switch Sports, really, really fun. I reckon yeah, I'm, I'm so glad it's a good game. It's it's perfect for the Switch. There's some content to be had. No. Okay, can I just real quick say, you said so glad it's a good game. Oh, I'm not sure Ooh. if I'd say it's like necessarily, uh, it's, it's really hard to say because it's like, I don't think it's that great of a game, but it's really fun, which you could say like that oh, does th- make it a great game. Yeah, that's what I would say. But then it's just like there's so many things they could have done better as well. Like it's, what? It's, it's just the Pokemon complex. More yeah. sports would have been uh, honestly really big. Like yeah. six when Wii Sports Resort had what, like 12, even if some of them ask, sucked ass. What would you add if that hasn't been in a previous game Baseball. Before? No, it hasn't been in a game before. Oh, like new sports. new sports. You don't really need to add new sports. The whole thing was the online, the updated graphics, mm. and maybe a few more game modes like the new bowling special But the special new mode. volleyball and soccer are sick and they're brand new. Yeah, but I'm saying they could have just chucked in baseball. How hard oh, of would course. that have been? No, no, but is is their plan just to slowly trickle things out to make the high but pass that longer? That shouldn't be their plan. That's welcome to 2022 games. Eh? But I think um, that could work very well for the longevity of the game. Because that seems to obviously be their strategy with Mario Kart 
it worked well for Smash Bros, keeping Smash Bros a popular game for three years where I felt like <laughs> the audience would have died down quicker for Smash Bros if it was just all at once, never touched again. It's true. Bro, we're going to be up at 5 a.m. watching the Nintendo Direct and be like, <gasps> Which, <laughs> Yeah, I think legitimately that's what's going to happen. I think it's actually a good plan. I, nice. I reckon they're going to do that. Dude, if they like drop Frisbee golf, I might like pop off. See what I mean? It's <laughs> yeah. actually, I think it, I think that's their plan. I think it's a good one. Oh, Frisbee with updated motion controls? It would actually be yeah. good. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. It would be good. What's Sport would we what what would be a weird sport or weird thing that they should add? I reckon more combat sports, like oh, but like no. a grappling one, jujitsu, like Dude. you're on the floor in your living <laughs> yeah, room, that'd just be like, sick. like a grappling one, you're on the floor with <laughs> one's your on your leg and one's <laughs> how what happens like you're first thing someone and they tackle you to the ground, so you need to like lie. No, I've got on an idea. All right, here's <laughs> million. Get off, get off. I'm about to make millions with this idea. I'm so excited. You it's it's jujitsu. Mm -hmm. You bring two sets of Joy Cons with two leg straps and and so you have four points of contact and your guy moves one to one and you like walk him around and like grab people with all your little like limbs. And it, it's I mean, just perfect one-to-one -one motion with your I mean, limbs. But what happens when you get taken down? How do you, you do to, that? You have to jump on the floor. The game's like, quick, you've been tackled. Jump on the floor. Lie on your back. And then it calibrates. And then it's like, go from here. That's so good. <laughs> it's like, you know how in Wii Sports Resort, you got to put the remote yeah, on the floor. Yeah, that's exactly. You put yourself on the floor. Yeah. You know. Oh no, he's got you in a headlock. Get a friend to choke you. <laughs> All right, I'm in. I like Quick, it. Tie a cord around your neck. <laughs> but maybe not. Maybe not that. Not the best idea, but I feel like there's potential. That'd be fun. I was, like it, yeah. I've personally always been big on the Olympic Games. So I think getting maybe even an Olympic sport in. You know what sport I would love to see? Snowboarding with a new balance board. Oh, oh that'd be pretty a cool. Balance board. A Joy-Con balance board. Unfortunately, oh, they just make that a new game. I'm certain. Oh, yeah. they, they definitely yeah. would. But, <laughs> but that's like, a very cool idea. Yeah, snowboarding would be a sick game to add. And you could also have sev several different versions of it, like trick snowboarding, speed racing. Skiing. Nah. This sounds like its own game. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get it. That's ridiculous. Get the hell out, mate. Oh, honestly, though, like if if the Joy-Cons are as good as sensing these things, and there's two of them, as they say, right? Surely you don't ship the board that has like sensors in it. You just have something that moves around and has spots for the, the Joy-Cons Joy to go in. Stand something does your, that, doesn't it? Yeah, the cardboard thing. What's that? Has anyone ever used that? Yeah. yeah, what's yeah. that? Yeah, get get a cardboard uh, snowboard. That'll go where when you stand on it. Yeah, does anyone even fucking use Labo? No. I've never, this is Nintendo's I've never seen problem. it. They like, are so keen to innovate when they should have just dropped Switch Sports with the Switch with these six games, and by now we'd have 20 games. And everyone would be still playing Switch Sports. They definitely should have released it with the Switch. Instead that would have been one huge. Two. One two. They just they just went for one two and it sucked. Oh, one two is one of my favorite Switch games. I'm sorry, everyone. Is it? It is so funny. Hot take. Have to be honest, I've never played. It. <laughs> yeah, never. I was about to talk shit, but I haven't I've, played. I it played either. it with some friends and we had like a few beers and we we're literally just pissing ourselves, mostly because it kind of sucks, but it is fun as well. But surely you would have been pissing yourself more if it was Switch Sports. I don't know. Well, I haven't had that experience. Ooh. Is there any replay value to it though? I heard that once you've done the games, they're all gimmicky yeah, and then it's they over. Are, it's pretty much seventeen gimmicks, so it makes sense why it came out with the consoles mm. to ex show what it could do. But I don't know. guys, Go on. somewhat on the topic, does anyone have parents that might want to be in a YouTube video? My parents don't live here, so not me. I mean, my yeah, mum watches like, the podcast, so let me know. She's in. Yeah, maybe. I don't I'm know. trying to get a bunch of old people to play in a Switch <laughs> sports tournament. So I'm going to get my parents, my Maddie's grandma parents. Would do it. I want another four people. So yeah, I was thinking my grandparents, but they don't live in Perth. Just like anyone that's old and would want to be. In I feel like um my dad would be in if you didn't phrase it like old people. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna tell them that. You just here did. we are with eight old people, <laughs> and they are gonna be. <laughs> like, Let's oh. see if we have any casualties today. Any broken hips, you old okay. codgers. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have said old. I should have said like adult, you know, uh, above the age of 40, let's say. <laughs> Damn ancient. That's old. <laughs> Isn't guys, that? It's actually to do with classic win a thousand dollars. And he's like, all right, guys, you don't have to live off your disability. I mean, your pension checks today. You guys can eat real food. Yeah, Isn't I mean, that just normal? Can I call age? them old if they have the, if they get paid to be there and have a chance of winning a grand? I think they're just normal age. I they are. Can, they kind of are. I think you can call them old. They're like me. No. Well, apparently Peter's anyway, won't come on, but. That was the idea. And then, uh, 
well, don't tell them this, but I mean, hi, Peter's mum, if you're listening, but do a bit of a squid game thing where they start in teams of two in like partners if they have that or like just with a random partner. Yeah. And then the teams go against each other in the next round Ooh. in a one-on-one. I reckon my dad would actually be down. I'll ask him. In the early stages, but yeah. That's so that funny. I mean, I haven't funny. even asked my parents. That's, yeah. how, <laughs> that's how early it is, but... That's an interesting I idea. Like I idea. like it. Yeah. The tour- you love a bit of tournaments. Tournaments are good content. Yeah, but it's also like, I think it would be really funny, like, just you get two people that have never played Wii, even Wii Sports Tennis, and it's like, you know, work it out. You need some grandparents in there that just have no idea. Yes, <laughs> dude. Oh, I remember we <laughs> when, you know, when Wii was just popping, everyone had a Wii. It was just like, for Christmas, the family... The uncles and aunties, because we always go to my nan and pops for like family events, and like they just bought them a Wii for Christmas so everyone could play on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, the grandparents? Yeah, like the aunties and uncles bought the grandparents oh, a so Wii because everyone just wanted to play Wii when they were there. So good. So it's just like people fiended, dude. It was nuts, dude. That was like quite the era. Yeah. Apparently, the Switch was outsold it though. Has Switch it really? sports or just Switch? In the general? Switch has Switch outsold Wii. Wii. Apparently. Wow. wow. I would not, but I think I'm, I'm too out of the loop now. I'm too, too much of a gamer. Too, too much of a boomer too gamer? Too in the loop, you mean? Too in the loop. Yeah. I can't, I'm like in the eye of the storm. I can't see <laughs> outside of it. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're such a gamer, you can't see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't know what games normal people play. Yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, when, when we came out, it was like, I don't know, I'm going to like, oh, my dad's friends with this family. We're going over to have, hang out. Oh, we're over at Lee's cousin's house and everyone's playing it. Now I'm just at home. I think, this, yeah, the secret is it's not that you're out of the loop. You just don't go outside anymore. That's right. I'm in the loop. <laughs> I can't get out. And by the loop, I mean my room. <laughs> my, my stream, I'm constantly there. You don't get forced to go to random parents' friends' houses where you're only fun is playing Wii Sports. True. Exactly. Did you did you guys did your parents have a lot of like friends? Yeah. Yeah. Mine too. Um I wouldn't say like a lot, but I would go to like family friend things where yeah. like you're kind of forced to hang out with their kids even yeah, though you're not yeah, 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 personally yeah. friends. Yeah. And because you're kids you can kind of just do stuff like that. Like play Wii, oh, Wii sorry, Sports. Play Wii or like play a game outside or whatever. I don't know. My yeah. go to was showing off on the piano. <laughs> Actually, oh, that's good, actually. When I was young and I used to like learn a song on piano. <laughs> and then picture it. We went to like parents' friends' houses because they were all maybe two or three years younger than me, which at the time I'm fucking ancient. I'm yes. the most mature person yeah, ever. For sure. Like, I'm eight and they're six. Like check me out on the piano. And then I just found out that these same people have like graduated uni last year. And I'm like, that feel old yet much? Yeah, like wow. that's crazy when you think about the age difference. And then it's like Maddie's younger than all these people that I used to think were like complete babies. <laughs> yeah, babies. It's but weird it's like, like that. It's just like two years at that age yeah. is so much. I mean, yeah. to be fair, like if it was the same ratio, that's a lot older. You know oh I mean? yeah, like in terms of like twenty five percent older. Yeah, mm. it does. You actually have a point there, <laughs> as always. Yeah. <laughs> you sounded so skeptical. Like, <laughs> does he have one? I think he does. <laughs> I feel like we're moving into the Jordan question of the oh, week territory. Okay, if we have one, I do. Let me think. I wrote it we down. We need a steer for this segment as well. An intro. Yeah, you have to make it yourself. You do we'll, we'll do it for next week. We'll yeah. do it for next. All week. right. Sure. My question is: Can you spawn a lot of queen ants? <laughs> was that not meant to finish? Was that the whole sentence? <laughs> I thought Peter might know the answer. To this. I don't really get the question. I mean, spawn. Because I don't know. How, I, I. Because usually my questions are very Googleable, so that's why I kind of struggle. But I thought I won't Google this. I'll let Peter maybe red. take the reins. <laughs> You've gone the, completely. I don't red. understand the question. Okay. Well, first of all, I was thinking. How, well, actually, I was kind of interested in having pet ants, but I thought maybe I couldn't be bothered. But it I've might, seen really cool ants. It might farms. be very interesting. Dude, and you were talking about not wanting the rabbits because they didn't do anything. But ant, no, that's what I'm saying. I could have wars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you're could. having ant wars yeah that's what i was thinking and, and it would be very interesting losing, so he teaches them to lay i strap. thought i thought having ants as pets would be because it's like having a pet civilization almost it would yeah. be very cool you could be god to them exactly and then like they kind of have their own structure and you like put a, like a dead cricket and they're like it's time and then they'll come out <laughs> but it's like how do queens work do you know okay that's so a good question. Can you spawn a lot of queens? So like, are you saying can? Wait, can, can we start co- from the start? How do how does a queen get made? 
Okay, so I think it is just, it starts off as a normal ant larvae. Yeah. And it gets fed a special food, which makes it go, it turn into a queen. As far as I know, I'm not exactly sure on this, Ooh. but they're not like genetically different. They're all like ants. That's what I, I was mean. thinking, it's, yeah. And then they get this special, people, in bees, they call it royal jelly. I don't know if it's the same for- They make the food special and it's like, this will turn you yeah. to a queen. It's like super enriched That's and shit. so gangster. And it really? makes them super fat and like wow. thick and long. That's so Sorry. sick. Really quick. Are there male and female ants? Is it just the yeah. fact that- they're, they're all males, but the queen's female. There are female worker ants as well. Do, uh, do ants fuck? <laughs> yes. I mean, really? Like, I mean, the queen has to get fertile egg somehow, right? Wait. Does just the queen fuck or do everyone yes, fuck? Yes, just, just the queen. That's crazy. The queen's the only one that lays the eggs for the whole mm. colony. So all the other girls aren't horny, but the guys yeah. are. Are there no other girls? There are other girls, but they're not like okay. fertile. Oh, okay. interesting. But they like could be a queen if they... What if, do you reckon it's ever happened they've snuck the food? They're like, I'm going to be the queen. And they're like... <laughs> See, I mean, they're all about doing something for the greater good. I don't think they have a mind of their own like that. <laughs> if this it was humans, about, that would happen. This is the yeah. thing about like, yeah, animals don't have that intelligence. So you're like, oh, he's being sneaky. It's like, they're not being sneaky. Well, maybe they accent... Surely there's been a case where they've had a mix up two queens and they're like, we've got to kill one. Yeah, probably. I think they kill each other. I think some colonies The queen's have, battle? No, they don't. Oh. I think some colonies. <laughs> Zach was nodding. <laughs> Zach dropped a science fact. That's not true. Well, maybe it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've tried to be smart. It's backfired immensely. The nod. Just the, yeah, well, maybe it is. So look it up. I think some colonies have multiple queens if they're big enough, and that's Whoa. not a problem. Like that's that's okay because I mean, how many eggs can one one ant lay realistically? Exactly. If you're like a super colony. So to answer your question, yes, you could just feed a lot of. Could I get like ants from the from the yard? Have the special food somehow. It's probably too get old it by that point. You I would get guess. it online, right? I think you can get everything online. Yeah, exactly. I think you need to give it to them when they're a larvae, when they're like a yeah. little maggot. Oh. So you can't just pick up a, a fully grown ant and. Feed it, it and it won't evolve because they, they won't just they won't just eat it and get fatter. They'll metamorphosize into a queen. They'll never right. have that phase That's of being so a regular cool, ant. So cool, dude. Jordan, and what what's so your Amazon search for the ant food you're getting online? Um, it would be more so a Google search on just how to make queen <laughs> ant. Get your pawn to the end of the board. <laughs> <laughs> How to make queen. Get it on the chest. Be born board. into royalty. <laughs> oh yeah. And then the last thing I was going to say, you know, flying ants? Yes. What flying ants are. It's, this is, this is, this is the coolest part, right? Flying ants are all queens. <laughs> because they've, Whoa. they've been made, wi- uh, they, they get their wings. They f- fly off to new spots and start a new colony somewhere else. So They're like settlers like, in Civ. Has like, anyone played that? Yeah, but a long time. Ago. I was going to say it's more like a tree dropping seeds and hoping they spread out by like making, you know, dandelions, the seeds fly away. They are the seed. Yeah. They're like Whoa. the seed of a new hive or like a new nest, I should say. So if I caught some flying ants, then I could separate them. Yeah. If you got two flying ants, mm-hmm. started them off in their own colony. I don't know how you would do this. Mm-hmm. Then a maybe. Mm. So that there you go. Something I was interested ants in. Ants anyway. are kind of cool. I'm, but I'm not, into your idea. not every ant species works the same. I'm going to say not every ant species would make flying ants. Some would have multiple queens. Some would only have one queen. There's like a zillion species of ants. So That's it is so possible. <laughs> this is a possible scenario where I have multiple queens in some giant arena <laughs> and they will be making their own cities. And then like you only have limited food. You put it in. There. Yeah. You, you put see like who one wins. cricket in the middle and see them. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is kind of inhumane. It's kind of like they're ants, they're bro. ants, dude. I was thinking that, yeah, but, but then, like, imagine think of what like, you do when you see an ant. Oh, squish it, like you know. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> My mum literally gets a kettle, boils it, and pours it down ants' nests. Like, <laughs> this yeah, is- but you're like kind of breeding them to just kill each other. No, no, no. Well, some it's wait like, till he finds out about like dog fighting. <laughs> ants, it's like you only kill them when they're really bothering you. But if you have them in your house, it's just like. Permanent. They're doing it to themselves. <laughs> no, that's a bit rough. Although, if they're the same species, honestly, if they met up, they'd probably just join their colonies, not fight. Well, that would also be interesting, wouldn't how it? How would if if they're from two queens that are genetically the same? They're gonna have all. They're all gonna be effectively brothers and sisters. They walk into each other on the battlefield. How do they know that they're enemies? Oh, they have the same pheromones. They don't like. They don't have like. So flags. I need different queens. Yeah, you're gonna have to get different species of ant, and then one will probably boots the other one. That would be so interesting, though. I it reckon would that would be cool. That would be very interesting. Okay. While we're on the topic of animals, 
I saw this thing this week that I think would be quite interesting to try on the podcast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm going to ask you guys a few questions and you got to answer just as quick as you can. First thing that pops into your head. So which animal do you guys think you would be? Octopus. Dog. Eagle. So Jackson said octopus. The falcon. Sorry, falcon. Jackson said octopus. Peter said falcon. You said... Dog. Dog. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Uh, I'll tell you guys mine okay. after. Oh. And then... Uh, if that animal didn't exist, what would you want to be? Tiger. Wait, a different animal? Yeah. Um, what do I want to be or what mm-hmm. do I think I would be? Oh, I, I would want to be... Don't think too hard. Human. Oh, oh, it doesn't count. Good that. answer. <laughs> good answer. <laughs> Gorilla or monkey. Oh, I was, yeah. I was going to say like chimp or something. Yeah. What did you say? Like Jordan? chimp. Okay. Like Kind of like a person. And if both of those animals didn't exist, what would you want to be? Gorilla. Maybe a dolphin. That's too similar to chimp. Oh, dolphin, dolphin. Dolphin's a great good. answer. I'm going to say orca, killer whale. Yeah, nice. Squawker. Squawker. Um, I'll be a don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, fuck, this is hard. Um, a dog. Okay. So this is how this apparently works. Mine were dog, cat, and I actually forgot. Great segment. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll I wrap forgot. it up. <laughs> no. I forgot my third one. We'll circle back to it. Okay, so the first animal is what is how you want to be seen, apparently. A dog. Like a so, slimy thing. <laughs> so Jackson wants to be seen as not nah, quite chill. Yeah. Chill fair. in the ocean octopus. Peter wants to be seen as this soaring falcon. Yep. Bigger. As fast as fuck, boy. I'll be a dog. I can and kind Jordan of see you guys both as your animals. I can see you as an octopus yeah, for sure. So that's how you want to be seen. Jordan You're wants like a to friendly be seen companion. Yeah, I was just thinking yeah. they're just nice and chill. Uh, the second one is apparently how you're actually seen. Oh, tiger. So, <laughs> chimp. Oh, tiger's so Peter's a Chad. actually seen as a tiger and you guys are both seen as monkeys. Yeah, that's apparently. Return to monkey. Kind, kind of silly. And the third animal is what you actually are. And what did I pick? A dolphin. You picked gorilla, what a, which I'm not... Oh, no, then I got vetoed and then I got picked dog. I th- yeah, you're actually a dog. What does that mean, actually? Uh, surely is not actually a dolphin because of the IQ. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up with it. I want to do an IQ test. Should Can we, we do, do that? Video? We, Can we do please that? do an Maybe. IQ test for an underdogs video? Well, no, we'll do it for the podcast. We'll do it over the week and then we'll come back and compare results. You know, so we I, don't know until to the It's day. not that simple. IQ oh. test like multiple hour thing in oh, person. Shit. You can't just do an online one and be like, yeah, nah, let's, do a shitty on, let's do a shitty online <laughs> Should one. Should we make a video and, and do an on IQ test? I feel like we go in and do an IQ test. It's a whole ordeal and it would actually make for a whole video. I don't know if it would be very interesting. How do you make it ourselves. content? Yeah. Other than you just silently being like, mm, I think the triangles go into these circles. We'd have to do the test probably in private. Yeah, maybe it's not it, I don't, yeah, I don't know how it could be It could be, be funny video. to discuss. Only interesting to us, but very interesting could to us. Could be good to discuss on the podcast. Yeah. Guys, let us know how we can do an IQ test. Peter just And make it fun. No, no, no. If they've got any... Yeah, Yeah, anyways. anyways. Comment if you even want to see that. And then Peter is actually an orca. Pretty Chad. Pretty epic. So that didn't really... I don't know about this. (laughs) I think... I did get it. me in the beginning. (laughs) I did get it from a TikTok. (laughs) (laughs) The first two I saw, but the third one I freaked out and didn't really pick the right animal because I wasn't... Yeah. couldn't really think. But I think the first two applied for everyone. I thought they were all pretty good. Yeah. I I thought the first two were good. I was going to ask how you found this because it sounds like a load of crap. (laughs) Because like, I just like cool animals. Does that make me cool? Like, probably not. Yeah, you're probably like two into animals. I think it's meant to be like first thing that pops into your head. So this is for the general public that maybe know five animals off the top yeah, of their who head. Who the fuck says dog? I'm sorry, fellas, but that's weak. Those What's wrong with dogs? Say, wait, no, what did what did you say? The question the was first one's like what animal would you want to be? I said Yeah, I'll be a dog. Way. I'm just chilling at a house. Think yeah. Yeah. Think big brother. Dogs have it good. What do you yeah, mean? Dog, dogs are chill. Dogs bro. Be the best Hawk's answer. Answer. What did you say? Food. Hawk? Fuck yeah, that. That'd be, no, Falcon. Falcon. It's different because they're really fast. You won't get any pets. Good, <laughs> you don't get any pets. I think the dog has the best life. Yeah. A domesticated dog does. Oh, but do they though? Because like, you know, suicide rates are up. Depends on the owner. For dogs? No, Depends. for humans because they've got it good. Depends we have if it your too owner good. gets another dog and forces you to fight constantly against each other. Tribes don't have as much depression. I can't believe you've opened up this philosophical question with like think, one minute left. <laughs> do, do dogs have a depression because they're too well off? Are dogs sadder than eagles on average? I'm not sure. Wow. Falcons. Falcons. Oh, Falcons. Hawk, eagle, falcon. It's pretty similar. Specifically a peregrine falcon because they're the real fast ones. Is that the fastest one in the world? Yeah. Oh, and did you know, I saw them. Peregrine falcons, their population is actually going up because of urbanization. 
because they have epic perches on top of buildings. I saw this on a pigeons. documentary. Yeah, it, it's like New York is one of the biggest centers of peregrine valgoods. It's badass. Because it's safe and they can be They like, just have loads of perches and there's yeah. a billion pigeons to eat. Amazing. Wow. So good. So that was my brilliant personality quiz. Anyone else got, <laughs> got anything that good? Uh, can't top that <laughs> one. Been, and oh, we just on. crossed an hour on the podcast. So I, I hit yours and I reckon we wrap it up. I built Lego the other day. <laughs> <laughs> so, Wait, what Lego? It was so fun. Star Wars? No. It was May the 4th. Um, I built the, first I built the Singapore skyline. Cool. Which has that Christ. like boat building, but it was one of those mini ones. It's only about this big, but it took me like four Ooh, hours. That's oh, Marina Bay Sands. The architecture Sky, ones. Sky, Sands Sky yeah, Park. Yeah, that's right. I'm looking at going to Singapore. And on a very related topic, Maddie won't let me go to fucking Legoland. Are you fucking kidding me? What do you mean I she know. won't let you? Does Apparently she- it's in Malaysia, which means we have to cross, <laughs> cross a border. <laughs> it's, it's so close to Singapore, it's but we'd have to- pretty fair enough. Is right? Singapore an island? Border. No, yeah. it, it's oh. not. It's a peninsula. Oh, it's, it's connected. Oh, is it a bridge? I don't know. I'll tell bridge. you what, it's fucking close to Legoland. That's what it is. You can cross into Malaysia on a road, but I think really? you are right. I, it's very, very close. I thought close. Singapore was an island. So it we is. have a big bridge to New Zealand. Are we no longer an island? It is an island. You're right, Jordan. Sorry, okay. I misspoke. What? Jordan's right. Peter's wrong. First time oh. ever on the podcast and last. Yeah, so hey. won't won't be allowed to go to Lego. Anyway, if you want to come look at Singapore, I've got it on my bookshelf. Yeah, maybe I just cancel the Singapore. <laughs> we go look, build look Lego, Lego at Jackson's and make the sky parks itself. I couldn't believe how fun it was. I, <laughs> I recommend everyone to build For some Lego. Hours. I don't find it fun at all. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> do you guys like it? <laughs> I, I wouldn't know. I need to build some Lego. Cause you know I, what? Do you remember I was talking about how I couldn't do it as a kid? I was too weak. Mm. But maybe I'm stronger now. You probably, hopefully you're stronger. <laughs> I might to be Lego. able to do a bit of Lego. Maybe yeah. I'll get into it. We Jordan, should. that video isn't out yet. You just spoiled your two truth, one lie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we should do a Lego building competition like Lego Masters on oh, the underdogs. It's going to be fucking terrible. I'm pretty we fast We should do that. You said you took four hours no, to build a little this one's nothing. Like two and a half thousand pieces. A little nothing? What? Two and a half Have thousand pieces. Have you seen pe- the Singapore Sky Park? Dude, did you see he did this with his no, fingers? It's like this big, probably. It's very see? Each, It's small. How is that it. two and a half? I thought Legos were all one. Oh my You've god! Lost end the, the podcast. <laughs> I didn't always, know there was little Lego. It's always got to end with Jordan saying something strange. When did that make little? Thanks for listening, Lego. guys. <laughs>